Hello everyone, my name is Sean Moore. I'm a principal cloud network architect on the North America Shared Security and Network Services team. Today, we're going to show a small demo on how to use DRG import distribution policies. Import policies specify how network routes are dynamically imported into the DRG from a DRG attachment, such as a VCN or a virtual circuit attachment. Import policies are assigned to a DRG route table to determine the net top DRG attachment for a given network route. For this demo, we'll attach three separate VCNs to a DRG, VCN A, VCN B, and VCN C. We'll then view the default DRG routing table for the VCN attachments as shown here confirming that the subnets from all three VCNs are imported into the DRG located here. Next, we'll create a custom DRG route table with an import policy that only imports the VCN C CIDR. And last, we'll update our custom DRG route table with a static route for the subnet B1 located here and test access, confirming that we can only reach B1 and subnet C1 subnets from the A1 instance. First, we'll start by attaching our VCNA to the DRG. So in the top left hamburger menu, let's scroll down to networking, virtual cloud networks. There's our VCNA. From here, we'll go to the left and select Dynamic Routing Gateway Attachments. Click Create DRG Attachment. Let's give it a descriptive name. Let's choose our pre-existing DRG. Okay, Create Attachment. While that's attaching, Let's go ahead and update our route tables. So we'll point towards our other VCNs, VCNB and VCNC, and put the net top target as the DRG. So target type, dynamic routing gateway. A CIDR range for VCNB, followed by a small description. At the route rule, let's create one more for VCNC. So target type, it's our dynamic routing gateway again. A CIDR block range for that VCN. And then another short description. Let's so add route rules, and then let's look at our DRG by going to the top left hamburger menu. Networking. Then select dynamic routing gateway. Okay, there's our DRG. Let's start by checking out our import route distribution. So on the left bottom menu, Let's select import route distributions. And we have two default route distributions, one for the VCN and one for virtual circuits. So this is the default for VCNs. And notice that there is a match all. So every route will be imported. All right, so now under virtual cloud network attachments, notice we have all three attachments there. Let's select our DRG route table, or VCNA. And notice in the top right that the import route distribution is using the default. If you go to the top left, you see you get all route rules. And notice also that all known subnets for all three VCNs are imported into this route table. Okay, so let's test access from our instance in VCNA. 
So we'll start by pinging the subnets in VCN B. There's two subnets with one instance each. Okay, that's reachable. Let's try the nets. That's reachable as well. Now let's go to VCN C. Okay, great. That's all working. Now let's create a route filter that can only reach VCNC. Back on our other tab, let's exit out of the route table. Let's go back to our DRG. We'll go back down to import route distributions and let's create a new import route distribution. So here we'll give a descriptive name In our statement, let's give a priority of one to start. We'll choose attachment for attachment type, then choose virtual cloud network. Then let's select our VCNC attachment. Okay, let's create route distribution. Now we need a new route table to assign this to. So under the DRG route table, let's create a new DRG route table with a descriptive name. We'll leave static routes blank for now. In the advanced options, let's select enable import route distribution. And there's our custom policy we just created. Okay, let's create our route table. Now we need to assign this to the VCN instead of the default DRG route table. So while that's provisioning, let's go back over to virtual cloud network attachments. Let's select our VCN A attachment. Let's edit to update the DRG route table. And let's find our new custom table that we created. Okay, VCN A route table. And save changes. Now let's take a look at our custom DRG route table. Let's click on a link here. Notice our custom import route distribution is set. And let's take a look at our current route rules. Now we only dynamically learn VCNC rather than both VCNC, B, and A. Let's test assets now from our VCNA instance by going to our other tab here. All right, so we still have access to VCNC instance now let's try our vcnb instances and see oh as you notice right away that isn't working let's try our other subnet in vcnb and that's also unreachable on purpose so our route filtering is working for vcnc let's make one final change to our custom drg route table let's allow access to just the subnet b1 by creating a static route so back on my tab here, let's close out of uh, the current route rules. Okay, under static route rules, let's add a new static route rule. This time for the destination cider, we'll put in just the subnet for subnet VCN B1. Okay, the next hot destination type will be virtual cloud network and let's select the VCNB attachment. Okay, let's add the rule. All right, back up to get all route rules. Notice that our static route is now available to us. So let's go ahead and test access to the subnet B1 instance. Okay, great. Now we have access there. And let's test subnet B2. And as expected, it's now unreachable by design. To recap, we attached our VCNs to the DRG, confirmed default import statements, and performed route filtering by creating a route table with a custom import route policy and a custom static route. To learn more about dynamic routing gateways, please visit our website 
at OCI.com.